the Duchess of Cambridge is said to be putting the Queen over her personal life this Christmas. This will be the Queen's first Christmas without Prince Philip. Therefore, Duchess Catherine and her husband, Prince William, are expected to spend it at Sandringham with their children. The Duke of Edinburgh died in April at the age of 99 and was buried at Windsor Castle a week later. Catherine has optioned to spend Christmas with the Queen in order to guarantee that she does not feel lonely this year. Of course, she will be joined by her husband, Prince William, and their three children at the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. Speaking to OK Magazine, Royal Correspondent Kate Nicholl explained how the Duchess puts her duty before that of herself. They tried to alternate Christmases in the early years of being a family, Kate explained. One year with the Queen and the Royal Family and the following year with the Middletons. But Kate and William prioritised duty over self-interest as we can see now more than ever. Kate went on to say that Christmas is a big deal for the Middletons and that the Duchess has made a sacrifice. However, the Duchess always ensures that she's at Sandringham on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day now. But Kate believes that having two Christmases is a lot of fun for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children. This is because they get to celebrate it twice, once with their great-grandmother, the Queen, and again at their Buckleberry home with their guests, the Middletons. Kate also said that the Cambridge youngsters are quite tech-savvy when it comes to technology. She claims, however, that the Duke and Duchess prefer to give their children practical gifts. George enjoys his iPad at school and both he and Charlotte are extremely tech savvy. Like other children, they are likely to have a wish list full of technical gear. If it is something that happens to be a computer game or something like that, then they are cautious of screen time, so it could be a more practical gift, Kate remarked. From the outset, the Duchess has been a very hands-on parent, following in the footsteps of her parents, Michael and Carol Middleton. When the Cambridges were shut up at their country home at Anmer Hall during the first lockdown, Kate said she made sure George, Charlotte and Prince Louis all had time outside to explore and get some fresh Chair. Katie went on to say climbing frames, swings and a pond are all available. Each of the children are in charge of their own little patch of the kitchen garden. Princess Diana's parenting style is said to have inspired the way Prince William and Catherine nurture their children. The Duke and Duchess are said to want to provide George, Charlotte and Louis a normal childhood.